Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 and 8 of Maya Tell Me. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. Well, yeah, until Ari comes up and be like, hey, you know, this necklace. And you let it go over her head, didn't you? Once again, <laughs> queen slash princess of privilege. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Hmm. You telling me that little kitty right there is the fat behind cat? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you should be like that when your cat lays on your stomach or a dog even lays on your stomach. Yeah. You have the weirdest dreams. Poor baby. I, I mean, yeah, I know she is the, the queen, but at the same time, like now knowing that she is the fake princess, because I mean, psh, Ari has to be the real princess. Still, we're wondering that, right? I mean, come on now. It's hella freaking obvious and such, so, yeah. Okay, there's one little thing I want to talk about. Um, so, th this ain't me getting on anybody and such. This ain't me getting mad at anything. I have never watched this show, BTW. Never did a reaction on to this. Never watched it on my own and such. Um, and somebody kind of thought I did. And the only thing that I can instantly compare this to another show is um Hina Laji from Luck and Laji and that was made by I don't know who the heck that was made. Was that made by Sunrise? Maybe I don't really remember. But that was another show where like I didn't know anything about Hina Laji and I watched Hina Laji from Luck and Laji and I remember I think like the first two weeks of that show. Um of course yes I was confused because I didn't know anything. And people were like, well, have you seen this? And I answered saying no. And I think in my first video, I had even said no, I hadn't seen it. So, of course, yeah, I was going to be confused. But even, like, the previous series for this, haven't even seen that either. Will I probably watch it? I don't know. That's up to my Patreon who requested the show. Mm. Mm. That's how I felt earlier. <laughs> when you wake up and you're so sleepy. But you don't look sleepy. So you basically fix up the castle? Oh, okay. That's nice. Oh. 
Oh yeah, how is that gonna go? Mm. the hell is that okay oh I didn't think you well yeah I kind of did think you were going to hop down like that but Jesus (laughs) you would think she would have that section be destroyed I mean, okay, Hanabu, I, I get that. But still, they've wasted all this time. And then, oh! You would also think that if she, since she is the fake princess, like, you know, townspeople, everyone in this kingdom would, you know, just revolt. Which is you. Mm. That or like, she's basically a stand-in. And you gotta feel bad for that. Like what?
और है maybe straight Well, yeah, but you know, it's a little too sudden. Like, can't you wait? You can have, like, a nice proper setting or something. But not like this. No girl wants to just be ass out of the blue. I mean, most of us, we want to be, like, romantic, romanticized in it. Like, you know what? You take us out to dinner. Give us some dessert. Crap. Like, dang. <laughs> I mean, for a fat behind cat, that cat can move. Damn. Great job, girls. <laughs> hey, she kind of worse than the Sleeping Princess of Demon Castle. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. Sleeping Princess of Demon Castle is worse because the thing she did. <laughs> So how are you guys going to get back? You don't want to argue, oh my god. See, something kind of tells me that once we find out the truth about Ari, she is either A, gonna accept it, just like, you know, like, almost like a Sailor Moon type thing, like, eventually, or still, like, Sailor Moon, she's gonna reject it for, like, a moment, and then be like, okay, gotta face my destiny, you know? Uh, uh. <laughs> What exactly is it, though? Oh! Mm -hmm. 
A organ? Are, are we serious? Wait, I got a bad feeling about this. me a organ is that powerful to do that and that's what they wanted them to do so now what all the freaking otomes can't transform yeah Yeah, we definitely going in the Sympho gear fields with this, like, Jesus. And it has three eyes. She can't do anything. I want to hurry up, put them on, put them on, put them on, put them on. This is a life or death situation. Come on.
Well, damn. And she gonna kill it like that, right? Countdown? She's fine. <laughs> it makes you wonder, is Ari going to get paid for this after, you know, she wasn't really at her job for a couple hours. Okay, but then hold up. That then that makes me wonder because I don't think I asked this last week. Okay, so you know how the headmistress had said if you know she gets into a relationship with a guy, the gemstone you know doesn't work and such. Okay, what if the master gets into a relationship with a man? Does that also not work? And does the gemstone like mm -mm, does not compute? Don't work out of order. <laughs> MIA something. <laughs> I mean, I think honestly, the relationship for Ari and, and Mashiro, like, it, it's good. It's not the best. It got a little bit better today. I just think they needed to spend a little teeny tiny bit more time together. But because the fact is, they are in a life and death situation, or they were in a life or death situation, of course, you have to get everything done quick, fast, and hurry now. Um,. It's very similar to one of the episode, one of the early episodes of Sinfo Gear, where you know Hibiki and um, Subasa were like working together for the first time, and poor Hibiki wasn't the greatest at what she was doing and such. And then you know you got Subasa just you know badass as fuck like always, cause you know not not freaking Misaki. And, and then there was a point where yeah, I thought not <laughs> Subasa was going to kill Hibiki, and I was like wait up. Uh, uh, like, hold up, like, he just baby, he newbie, like, no. Oh. <laughs> also, yes, I was not expecting him to propose, especially like that, like, it, okay, it, it's already weird enough that you, you come at, at a moment where, like, Mashiro is at her most vulnerable, and then you just say, okay, why don't you marry me, and such. Us females, we, we like I said, we want to be um, romanticized. We want to be taken out on a nice dinner, and, and then, you know, have dessert, and then you ask the question. You pop the question. Or you take us somewhere nice, the beach, um... I don't think no damn casino. <laughs> um, a really nice, like, place that you think we're gonna like, and then you make sure that everything's nice and sweet and perfect, even though it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. It's just nice and everything, and then you pop the question and such. Plus, the fact is, this girl is young as heck, and so is the boy, but I get the fact is that, like, okay, at a young age, especially for their kingdoms, and it's, it, it makes sense for him to ask at that age and such. I mean, it's the same thing almost like with being betrothed. And even like that till this day, some people, once they're born, um, immediately their families are out here looking for that significant other's either wife or husband. And then it goes on. It's like a never-ending cycle and such. Um, 
because I, I felt like there was going to be something like that, with, especially with my dad's um, culture and what he's a part of. But thank God that never happened because I don't know how I would have felt about that, <laughs> in my opinion, if that had happened to me. I, I know I would have been like, no, we don't know each other like that. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, I'm good. But... <laughs> But, I mean, yeah, the episode was really adorable. But I I just hope that either one of these two are able to reverse this contract. It may take a little longer than we thought, but hopefully it does happen. Let's hope and pray. But go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 8. Alrighty, episode 8 and 3, 2, 1, go. Well, it is her destiny, all right. (laughs) Yeah, but what if it gets worse, though? Child lady from the previous episode. If that is a woman, I mean, she looked like a woman. And then, of course, girl with the turquoise hair, she's still suspicious about the ish that she did. So, um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, ish comes to light. I'm just saying, because, ooh, something about that, like, mm mm. No, 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 no. I'm guessing that's her punishment.
fine a couple of days maybe weeks hmm? what's better than dessert a cleaning robot Well, seems like it's very much in a working manner. Uh, I spoke too soon. Oh, damn, you're right. Well, maybe you should have a study party or something. Well, I mean, you know, she is the main character. Because something else that tells me you might confine in Shizuru about everything. <laughs> hmm. Uh huh. Oh. Do none of y'all seem like that suspicious and you want to go look for her? Oh. Okay, Mew, do you know where her mom is? Very unique looking bird. It's 
friend. <laughs> Mashido. <laughs> She's the one that she made a contract with. <laughs> but <laughs> she's not suspicious to Ari. I mean, hold up, she was just possibly about to figure it out! Shit! Jesus! But, yeah. Maybe she's just that OP. Yeah, that easy. Hmm? You still have a contract? should did that first. Yeah, but at the same time you need to sell, tell at least tell someone an adult, someone, whoever. Yeah. But Ari, I don't think this is a good idea. I mean, what if you get in trouble again? Your punishment is already bad enough. Do you even want another one that's even worse? Seriously, Nina? Girls, I seriously don't know. This isn't a good idea. We shouldn't do this. But you're gonna do it anyway, of course. Harry Potter looking behind characters. Oh, God. Just stay together. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> hmm, you look nice in regular clothes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Huh? I know, right? <laughs> I mean, you think if she's clumsy, I mean, Bloom from Winx Club was clumsy as I do. Password. Well, yeah, I mean, you already had it to unlock the door, so. Hmm? Graves? Well, you know. And of course, they'll be here when they die, too. Is she pretty? in that situation. Mm -hmm. Woo, that would be my sign up. Okay, you know what? I don't want to be in the tell me anymore. Yeah, I'm not with that. Not killing my best friend.
Please tell me she's not going to get expelled because of this. Damn. She had no choice. So we're never probably going to see me again until like maybe the second half of the show. But why though? Heck, her voice is familiar to me. She kind of sounds like, um. Mm, yeah, she does. A little bit like her, Captain Sakura. Kind of a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. I mean, as someone who rewatched the Fate series that she was in, and then also a couple of episodes of Card Captain Sakura. <laughs> not much but okay yeah the fact that you know Ari and Machido they got in trouble because you know the gym so and I being there and cracked and everything like yeah I get it but like Ari had no choice but the fact is that you know during this war that happened so many years ago Otome's had to fight other Otome's that is really messed up and so because Arika is the <laughs> The sweetest protagonist who cares about everyone, of course. She's like, no, I don't want to fight my best friend. I don't want to kill my best friend. That's wrong. Nina over here like, you know what? I am willing to do that. I'm like... Because let me tell you something. If I heard someone say that, I'd be looking at you a little side-eyed. I'd be like, um, you know, any questions? I'd be like, mm-hmm, yes, you. I quit. Mm-mm. I'm not willing. <laughs> To die for a friendship and such. No, 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 That's like, okay, if you have a best friend and says like, oh, hey, you want to play with a Ouija board? No. No, 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 no. No. I wonder how this next episode is going to be very fan service like episode 6, because, I mean, episode 6 was very awkward to watch. I was not expecting that. And I'm thinking, okay, we're probably not going to get the next, like, kind of fan service episode until, like, several episodes from now. <laughs> episode 9. But, okay, something kind of tells me, once again, um, with the relationship, not only of Mashiro... Arika and Nina, but let's say Arika and Nina specifically, their, their relationship is a little bit better. Way kind of better than it was in the first, like, two episodes. Even though Nina still tolerates her, and the fact is, yes, she is. Uh, she was upset about the fact that, you know, Mashiro and Arika had to make that, connect, um, that contract and such. And technically, they're like, and uh, as me said, they're still under contract. So... 
like I said, how the fuck are they going to cancel that? Technically, the, when the teachers did it, the, did they do it off screen? Because, of course, we didn't see anything. So do they now get to start all over? And is, you know, Arika going to be able to choose someone who she really wants or someone who she's going to be chosen for her and be like, okay, this is the person who you have to make a contract with, yada, 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 this is that and the third. And then her friend Miu, very suspicious, don't know, like, it's something about her, like, yeah, she seemed very interesting, but she seems like the type of person where you look at her and you're like, hmm, I don't really truly know about you yet. Like, you could be, like, two-timing her right now. You could be at that, well, no, she wasn't at that other kingdom, but whoever that person was... Something tells me that they're going to go under, a, like, a disguise and, like, hide out in the kingdom and such and, like, seek it out once by, one by one and, like, these little small teams is what they're going to do. Um, maybe for these next few episodes coming up. Almost like how with some series of shows where it's like, oh, hey, there's a traitor among us and this is that and the third and such. And, you know, of course, it takes, like, several episodes for them to figure out who the traitor is. And then, you know, sometimes we find out by, like, that episode and it's like that. But, you know, who really knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 7 and 8 of Maya Tome. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Friday for Patreons. And next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 9 and 10. Bye, guys.